<laughs> He's the champ! Now we got the other Blazagon who's got the Ultra Glow. So she's gonna convert from a goo girl to a bad girl. That's dark in there, guys. Yes, multicolored beads. Here you go. Oh, that'll be a good one right there. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, have we got some new goo for you. We got some good news. It's the new goo -jitsus. Happy goo year, guys. You're gonna wanna like and subscribe because this is just scratching the surface of all the goos that's coming out, plus Treasure X's, guys. We got tons and we got a lot to talk about, but first let's cover these goos, which is super cool, guys. We got the two exclusive packs. Over here, we got the Shadow Fang Viper versus the Ultra Glow Blazagon. He's gotta be ultra, so it's probably gonna glow more than any of these others. We'll find out. And then we got the exclusive pack over here, which we have Ultra Glow Tyro versus Shadow Claw Rock Jaw. Man, that's a rock man if I ever heard of one. That's cool. And then we got, uh, well, over here, we got our other six that you can collect. We got our Blazagon. Then we have Bangle, you know, named after that famous uh, girls rock group. Walk like an Egyptian. And then we got our Scorpius. And then we have the Ultra Rare Gigatus. Now, he's cool looking. I am excited to open him up. Also, I think he comes with an extra water blast attack. That's awesome. And then over here, we got the Tyro and then Tritops. Moose, I'm giving you so many great ideas, man. You can go more than just goo. You can have goo shoes, try tops. Wouldn't that be goo? I'd buy some. Okay, first up to goo is our Tyro. I see right there, Gujitsu Glow Shifters, and it's Tyro, the hero pack, stretches up to three times its size. So you can see you can crush the core, and the goo glows in the dark. Does the skin glow in the dark? The, well, it says goo glows in the dark. Okay, it's not the skin. Or is it the core that glows in the dark that when you crack it open, it makes the uh, goo glow? Well, we'll figure that out. And you can see right there, he's super gooey, yeah. And here's the back. And you can see he's got a paw, so he's a goo guy. And there's six to collect with unique goo feelings available across Series 8. And you can see the three steps. First, you have to, like, pinch the core inside. And you got to do it up to nine times. Uh, sometimes you pinch it twice, and it's so sensitive it's just voiced open. The other times, it's like you got to do 20. <laughs> and then you massage it into it so it, the inner core meshes around with the goo. And then there's the six you can collect. You can see right there again, Blazagon, Tritops, the Ultra Rare, Gigata, Scorpius, Tyro, and Bangle. And then it has the max stretch, which is 20 inches, or if you're out in Europe, it's 50 centimeters. In the past goos, they actually had little tabs you could pull. But they don't have a tab you can pull on any of these. <laughs> yeah, old school. Just the way I like it. I'm going to go ahead and try to observe the packaging. Oh, and you see I'm not doing it. Okay, I got to go this way. I know it's not safe coming in towards me, but I don't want to cut the packaging if I don't have to. Okay, I made a little insertion here and maybe I could just pull it. Oh, I'll see you starting to tear up here. I got to put my finger down here to make sure that it doesn't tear the top part of the package. I got to keep my Tyro intact. He's such a beautiful... Hey, maybe we just do that, guys, right? Let me just pull him out. <gasps> Our first look of the goo year. It's a Chinese thing, you know, how they have the year of the chicken, the rat and stuff. It's the year of the goo. Okay, so there's the front. Oh, he's got a paw right there, so that's cool. He's a goo guy. And he actually has his black belt. Finally, man, you made it, Tyro. Good for you. Oh, does it come off? Oh, he's a little bit tough. Oh, no, it's just really a tight band. Wow, guys, that's tight. Oh, it used to be able to stretch that, capring it and stuff, but guys, faucet break or something, there's your washer, man. <laughs> it's not really a flat one to seal it. There's the back, and he's got the big goo paw, man. He lets you know he's a goo guy, man. He's, let's give him a squeeze without squeezing the core in three, two, one. Oh, you can see the core in there, right? Wow, you can't, it's murky, man. What you been eating, Tyro, man? He been slurping up too many Slurpees from 7-Eleven. God, it's blue inside, it looks blue. And it's fuzzy fizzy and he's gooey, but it seems very viscous, very liquidy. So with that core, before we pop it, guys, what I want to do, because I could pop it by stretching it to roundabouts, you know, just in case. What I want to do is I want to turn off the lights. I want to put the black line on it because the black light will charge the particles. Anything that glows in here a lot faster, make it last a lot longer. And I want to see if it's the goo that actually glows or after when you pop the core. So guys, there's a reason why I have him in prone position here. He's not dead. I mean, we haven't crushed his core yet. But the reason why is because I found something cool when I turned on the black light just before we started recording that there's like kind of a metallic swirl in him. So if you lift it up and you can look underneath before it starts whooshing around, it's got the coolest look to it, guys. And so I'll show you that in just a minute. But we've got to see if it's actually the goo inside glows or just the core before you pop it, you know, expels itself into the goo. So ready? In three, two, one. Okay, the goo is glowing. It's very faint. I think most of it's gonna be in the core, so there might be an integrity breach, man. Let me see if I can get this. So camera mom's gonna have to be kind of like fast underneath it. Ready, set, go. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look at those swirls. 
Do you see that? Okay, guys, I'm gonna try one more time and I'm gonna try to point to it with my finger. Look around the waist, because that's where from the back where it's settled down on his back, it'll start floating down to his waist, these cool looking swirls. Ready, three, two, one, go. You see the swirls in his back? Oh, wow. And it's starting to float down like some sort of sediment. I think the core might be already breached, guys. We'll have to do reveals, so be sure to like and subscribe so you can guys find out what's really inside these goos here. Look, at certain parts of his feet are just popping with the black light. Look at that. See, that's gotta be part of the core, man. I bet part of the core's popped. If not, I'd be shocked. So yeah, I think we got a breach here because if you look at the others, like if you look at Blazagon, okay, I'll put it on him in three, two, one, and then turn it off. It's his core. Core is the only thing that's glowing. You could probably barely see it too. Well, here, look at uh, Tritops. Okay, so we'll put it on in three, two, one. See, the core, oh, so cool, man. That is awesome. So when we crack that, it's all over the place. So you guys might want to do like the best of it. You know, don't crack them and just have the core glowing inside like, you know, some sort of alien egg in them. So guys, if you wanted to, you know, could you just leave the core intact? In fact, you can see the sediment. The core is already bursting. You could just see at the bottom of his heels there. See that? So that's just the glowy, gooby stuff, I guess. But if you wanted to, you could just leave the core intact if it's not broken and then just shine the black light on and let the core kind of, you know, have some fun with it before you finally crack it open. So anyways, let's get stretching. Speaking of cracking. <laughs> Here we go. This ought to break something. I don't know. Roundabouts. Like Tyro. Woo! Oh, man. He's really smooth, man. He's like milk chocolate, all smooth. Not that dark chocolate. So bitter. Should we do a Caprine before we... Uh, this might actually break him, guys. I must break you. Oh, he's really super stretchy. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know if I can get it that far. My arms don't go back that far. <laughs> I have to like cinch up, choke up on him if I wanted to go that far, but he went about 15 feet. Uh, so yeah, guys, you know, I have to like not go out. I got to go choking in to capring him. Okay. Uh, oh, geez. Oh, that's a little bit tighter. Okay. Yeah, there we go. He's about 30 feet. Okay. We learn from our mistakes, right? So I think instead of next time tossing these guys around like a pinata, we crack the core first and then we toss them around. Okay. So let's take a look and see where that core's at. See if it's already been busted. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, I think it's in his foot. Okay, there it is, right there. Okay, guys, see the core? I'm gonna try to give you a first-hand look, man. Okay, oh, it's got like a solid like stopper right here. Can you see that? So I don't know how these cores, I don't remember, recall having a solid stopper right there. I'm not sure if they put that on to seal up the core or if that's where you keep pushing on it nine times where it actually like leaks through. I don't know if that's where it's weak underneath there. We'll find out. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm gonna do nine times. Okay, ready? One. Oh, I think it, I think, it, yeah, it broke. Look at that, two, three. I think just monkeying around with it. Oh, look, you can see the sediment. It's totally there, guys. Look at that. There's the goo. That looks darker, guys. That's a darker blue goo, okay? Look at that. That is so cool. Don't forget, guys, to wait till the very end. We're going to do our fashion show. We're going to turn off all the lights, and then we're going to have all of them the glow in the dark. Now that we know that the core is magic behind the glows, uh, pretty much. We'll double check. So there we go. There's our first one. Tyro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's our Tyro. And next, we're going to go to Blazagon. Here you go. Blazagon Hero Pack. And you crush the core again, and goo glows in the dark. And then it says he's super squishy. And then here's the back. And okay, he's got the paw, he's the goo guy. And for this one, it's interesting. After you crack the core, it looks like you got little beads come out. Um, Orbeez, because it says right there, 4H plus. I don't know, four, uh, somebody look it up on the internet, what's 4H? I don't know, I think it was a club at one point. We call them four hooligans. But that means we're gonna have Orbeez. So after you crack them, you gotta wait four hours, okay? Um, oh, there's the tabby on the back. Is that what I missed on the other one? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Tabby's on the back, so you can preserve the front. Hey, I like the way Smooth tinks, man. Way to go, Moose Man. And so let's go ahead and just tear it from the back. Cool. Shouldn't affect the front. Yeah, we don't care too much about the back. And look, still looks good. We can put it back in and sell on eBay as new. We don't do that. So guys, um, there's the front right there, Blazagon. Ah, oh, he's so cool, the dragon with his flame top hair. Well, it's more sun-kissed yellow. And then he's got his paw, he's a goo guy. And then, you know, the big paw in the back. Oh man, I like my paw. And then, okay, he's got his black belt, right? Uh, but we'll take it off of him while we kind of mess around. We just don't want to miss anything on the inside. Okay, now I got to be careful uh, when I squeeze him because I don't want pop the core. I want to see the before and after, right? Okay, where's the core? There we go. There you go, guys. It's just clear. I mean, except for the red skin, right? 
Okay, some bubbles. And it says he's super squishy. And then let's see how it changes. Okay, there's the core. Okay, you see that inside? I don't know if you guys can see it, but you got these white beads inside. So, Orbeez, right? Okay, we're gonna do the nine times, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, burst you, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. Okay, the beads are coming out, the beads are coming out. Okay, here, maybe you can see the bottom. There are the beads. Oh, yeah. It's hard to see with that skin. Oh, there's like a little plugger. Yeah, the cat, the plugger. So the plugger unplugged itself. You see the plug right, I'm gonna point to it, right there, I'll get my face out of the way. There's the plug right there, okay guys? Okay, so mission accomplished. Then once the plug comes out, I assume they just made it very like delicate. So just a few squishes, the plug pops off and Cool, so just keep like flushing out, you know, keep pushing on that core to get all the beads out. Now we gotta wait four hours, right? But let's go ahead and give it a squeeze to see if any color came out. I doubt it. But you can see those Orbeez in there, right? And you can see right there, there's the uh, core. Oh, there's the core, totally empty, right? The Orbeez look white. So I guess we're just gonna have that white feeling, okay? I don't see any color to it, but then he's got skin, it's red, so that's that works for me. Well, actually, I have to do roundabouts now that we busted the core. See, look, he got those little beads in his arms, right? I'm gonna turn and grow up and be nice big Orbeez. Oh man, he's, he's the second smooth roundabout. Ah, oh, some nice cool air. Oh, that felt good. And then he just goes back and rotates the other way. That was awesome, man. <laughs> His arms are so pinched. All they popped out is muscular. Well, don't worry, you know, you'll get some Orbeez to help fill in those shoulders of yours. Okay, now he's tighter. I don't have to choke up on him as much. You know, maybe just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, well, uh, 25, he slid to 30 feet, but 25 was the initial drop. So next we want our shoes, our tri-tops. Okay, there you go, the tri-tops hero pack, and you can crush the core, and it glows in the dark, and what's coming out looks like Orbeez again. It says down below I'm super squishy, and then on the back, He's a good guy, he's got the paw. And there you go, the three steps, pinch it, and it pops open. And then there's that 4H mark, so we got more Orbeez, cool. Oh, I love how they did it on the back, nice. Oh man, his front looks super cool. Look at those horns, those three horns, that looks super cool. It'd be cool if he had a chomp attack, but no, he just looks good. Oh, and then he's got his orange belt. <laughs> he didn't make it the black belt, oh, so sorry. But he's a good guy, he's got the paw right here, right? Look at the back, I love his spikes. That looks cool, guys. Man, if this was really a shoe, you're hoping that these things are on the outside, not the inside, you know? You Stop kicking me with your tritops, man, that hurts. <laughs> Let's get the horns there. That's cool, okay, we gotta take off his uh, initially, it's a little bit sticky, but they made these belts a little bit tighter. They're not as like, you know, flexible. So there we go without his belt. Let's go ahead and give him a squeezy without breaking the core, hopefully. Three, two, one. There's the core. Okay, looks like we got white Orbeez on this one. So maybe white Orbeez on all of them, but the green color inside, I think that's the green goo. And it's not the skin, although the skin is green too, but it looks super cool, guys. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let's see if we can like pop the top this way. Oh, I gotta turn it because if it's got pressure, I gotta turn it this way so you guys can see it, but at the same time, it's not stuck. Okay, here we go. One. Oh, you see that? It just totally pops. It's like a little cork. Did you hear that? We gotta do that again, slow mo. Oh, you meant the core, right? We'll do that too. And then you can get some water in there by squeezing it. And look, the Orbeez just come flooding out. Awesome, man. Oh boy. Well, they're just Orbeez, right? So you can see there's the, the cap right there and then all the Orbeez are floating down to the footsies. So you got more white Orbeez. Okay, all right, cool. Green skin and uh, no change in the color of the goo, okay? So just the white Orbeez that came. So now we can do our roundabouts with our tri-tops to see how well he does. Ooh, that one's getting a little bit nasty. <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. He's got his, what was it, his foot? And he was getting a club foot. Well, uh, let's see if I do this one and this one. Okay, well, if I do it this way, I'll hit camera on those horns. We'll go the other way. Uh. Oh, God. I gotta like choke up on this, like the bat, you know? Cause he's kind of flexible. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not ready for this, I haven't practiced. Uh, 
It's just not easy doing these guys. A little bit tough, you know. But he went about uh, 16 feet. I'll give him an extra foot. I thought it was 15, but maybe 16. So you know why I had such a hard time popping him? Because he's got such broad shoulders and teeny arms, you know. These guys had longer arms, not just broad shoulders. So tri tops wasn't meant to go long distance. Oh, horns, they weigh you down, you know. That works. All right, next, we go for the gal, the bang gal. Now you can see it's the Bengal Hero Pack. You gotta crush the core and it glows in the dark. Now we got more beads coming out, so she's gotta probably have Orbeez as well. It says uh, she's super mushy. And then we'll flip on the back. Uh, she's got the paw. Uh, she's a goo guy, well, a goo girl, a goo gal, a bang gal. And then you go, you pinch, it pops open, you got 4H. Okay, another four hours. Okay, I'm glad we're getting the four hours done first. <laughs> and you'll be watching for all four hours. But we will go ahead and open her up right now. There's the tab. There's the pull, there's the release, and she's super mushy. Um, you know, when they say super goopy, super gooey, super mushy, they all seem very viscous to me. It doesn't seem like they put like different textures like corn syrup or like um, some sort of gel, just all very watery. Yeah, she's got her whole thing, you know, right here. And it just looks like tracks, you know, <laughs> or ladder or something. Anyways, that's her super cool outfit there. She's got her black belt, it looks fancy. And we'll just put that aside. You know, there's the front. Okay, and then there's the back. I mean, except for that front part outfit, you're just basically looking at her face and her little like, a little whip hairdo. Let's go ahead and, okay, very clear, right guys? Ooh, you know what? Take a look at that core. Look at the core before I pop it. What do you see in there, camera mom? Colored beads. Yes, multicolored beads. I mean, you got little like beads in there, but it looks blue. Okay, Bangle, you're shaking it up for all the goos, man. You're just such a rebel, man. <laughs> So that's cool. So take a look at one last look, guys, before we go from clear to blue. At least that's what I think it's gonna look like. So she's gonna convert from a goo girl to a bad girl because that's dark in there, guys. We really wanna do this. Here we go. Let me see if I can pop it. Here you go. Oh, that'll be a good one right there. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> pop, pop, pop. Uh, 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 uh. Come back to life. Now she's starting to turn. She's starting, more. it's purple. Yeah, there's color. That there. is so cool. I thought it'd be blue. No, it's purple. Our bang gal has gone to the dark side. Darth Vader likes purple, doesn't he? She turned purple on us. Okay, just gotta flush it out, you know, flush out the core. Get shake, get shake, get shake, get shake, get shake, get shake, get shake. Okay, so here's all the beads. You can see some still retain their blue-like color. So those, you know, over time will start hopefully to mix, you know. So they're, you know, purple. It looks purple to me, blue. Because if you really look at the concentration, it looks blue on the Orbeez, right? Okay, so here we go. She's doing her thing. Roundabouts. Go bango, walk like an Egyptian. All the old folks that sing, sing, that, that, they go, they go. Uh, whatever the song goes, I just like make it up as I go. Man, that's really smooth. Man, all these have been really smooth. I don't know what it is, but usually they're kind of vibrating and jilting like they haven't had their car's tires balanced right. <laughs> so is she going to put everybody to shame, hopefully? And I'm going to do it this way. Capringer. Oh, she put everybody to shame. She went, uh, oh, is that 50 feet? Wow, bang, go, you do walk like, you fly like an Egyptian. Anyways, oh, we're getting up there. Oh, Scorpius, man, they got so many different looks on him. He's cool. He's right, there's a Scorpius hero pack and you crush the core and it doesn't look like we got Orbeez coming out, just a bunch of color changing ooh. Oh, makes sense because he's super oozy. So then we got the back. Oh, we got our first evil, dude. I don't know. We're going from PG to PG-13 in this video. Man, he went to Skull, and he's more smart now. He's evil. As you can see, you pinch it, it pops after nine times, and something comes out. So it's going to be some sort of, I assume, color goo in there, maybe? Well, it says he's super oozy, but it looks like when you shake it, it's just kind of the same viscous uh, consistency as all the others. You know, just watery. I don't know why they're doing that, but anywho. Let's find the tab right here. There's the tab. And if I just bend down and then pull it back... Oh man, this is making me look wimpy. <laughs> that was a bit tough on that one, guys. Oh, now this one looks super cool. I remember we did this in a video before. These things just like the prongs for when you want to taste somebody. Like and subscribe. Yeah! So you can see he's got the skull. So he's an evil dude right there. Um, they have purple belts and gujitsu. I love his pinchers. Those are cool, you know. Oh man, and there's the back. You know what? It looks like he's got some sediment here. So he might already have it, you know, integrity breach, some glowy stuff. See, it's already murky. Yellow. Uh, Mountain Dew yellow. Ugh. And, oh no, the core's broken. Look at that. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. It came busted. Well, that goes to show that, you know, sometimes during shipment, <laughs> jostles around is broken. What happened? I didn't get the fun. I want my money back. You know, be sure to like and subscribe because when we do the reveal, we're going to have two of everything here. So will have like the before. We'll cut him open to see what he was like, you know, on the inside before he actually transformed. And then after they transform, cut him open to see what it looks like after the mixture, you know, because then we can pour out the core, pop it open and see the actual contents inside the core. So here we go. I'll grab him by the pinchers here. Look, you pinch my fingers. I'll pinch yours. Scorpius. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, he's not hanging on to my fingers. Oh. <laughs> that one vibrated me. Yeah, he wasn't smooth at all. So that was fun. <laughs> Let's go. Ugh. It's just that there's some of them are so stretching, some are so tight, like tri tops, but he went about 25 feet, so that's cool. Now we got the versus pack, so we're getting the other two evil dudes. I assume they went versus each other, goo versus goo, you know. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, again, we got our glow shifters, and it's the Versus pack. And you can see it's the exclusive Ultra Glow Tyro, so he's going to be super glowy, versus a Shadow Cloud Rock Jaw. And so for our Tyro, you crush the core, and the goo glows in the dark. And it says he's super gooey. And then for our Shadow Cloud Rock Jaw, he doesn't have the pictures there, except that when you squeeze him, it looks like he's got some beads in there. Uh, let's see if we can find out any more about him on the back. And then for the Ultra Glow Tyro, you can see he's got a paw, he's a goo guy. And you can see you pinch the core, it boist open, and it looks like some coloring comes out to give him some color there. And then for our Rock Jaw, there's nothing there. It's just, it looks like he's already orbied up, or whatever's in him is already there. It also says available is the Ultra Glow Blazagon versus the Shadow Fang Viper. Man, that's totally cool, that Shadow Fang. I think he ought to be an Ultra Rare. He's just so cool looking, you know. Anyways, oh, there's a tabby right there. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up. Oh. If you haven't figured it out by now in these versus packs, you only have one that has the core. The other one, no core beliefs. And that's why they're evil. Anyways, let's go ahead and do it with our uh, Tyro. He's got his black belt. You know, there's the front. I mean, it looks like the same Tyro here, right? So let's go ahead and pull him off the, uh, oh, that's kind of the tight black belt there. And, uh, you know, there you go. You can just see inside. Ooh, you know what? Look at that core. It looks like paint, like it's stuck to it. In oh, it's milky, milky white. Huh. So it looks like our uh, Ultra Glow Tyro, he's going to have some Ultra Glow inside here once we pop this core. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. We're going to pop this bad boy. Cover your ears. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> oh, look at that. The milky white. Ah, oh, who knows? Maybe it's powdered milk. Oh, don't drink it. Now, it's just uh, very frothy. <laughs> it's not frothy frothy. It's more like... I don't know, just kind of some sort of detergent you see in the wash. But that's going to look cool when it glows in the dark. Guys, be sure to stay till the end because we're going to do our fashion show with all the glows in the dark and see who glows the best. They're the same, guys. <laughs> do you want me to do roundabouts? Okay, we'll do roundabouts. Tyro, maybe he can beat Bango. Bango went the furthest, about, I think, 50 feet. Ah, huh, Tyro, man, he's just stable. He's so goo. He takes directions and odairs. Uh, he knows how to do roundabouts. Okay, we'll try to do see if we can get Tyro to beat Bangle. No, Tyro, don't you go. <laughs> <laughs> he hit about like 15 feet and slid to about 20, 25 maybe. He slid 10 feet. Yeah, I'm, that's unbelievable. He slid 10 feet. <laughs> well, he knocked his noodle. He did. He slid. Uh, okay, he, he, he hit 20 feet and slid about four or five feet. Okay, well, there's our Tyro. Look, side by side. Can you tell the difference? Which one of these is not like the other? There we go. Okay, so our Rock Jaw. There you go. Shadow Claw Rock Jaw. And he's in the shadows. I mean, looks really cool. Yeah, he looks more like freaky. And there's his skull. Yeah, he looks like he's really got an attitude, man. <laughs> Lose the tude, dude. I like his little. Oh, it feels so good. And we'll take off his duds, and then we'll see what's inside. And then let's go ahead and give him a squeeze. Three, two, one. Oh, we got some beads, the color green. I like it. It looks cool. Almost to the point, of, it kind of looks a little bit oval, like Easter eggs a little bit. That'd be cool if they came out in Easter egg goo. Ah, uh, it just feels good. Okay, so let's do some roundabouts. I got some, oh, look at that green. That's pretty. Look at that green. That really pops. 
I love that. Guys, and you ought to rewind that, take a look at that. But that green, when it started going around, it was like, it was just shining out there. Very brilliant green. Okay, I'm not gonna get really far with him because, you know, you know, they got the same build and all up shoulders here. So and just teeny tiny arms, but we'll give it a try. Oh, okay, are we gonna do this? Oh, oh wow, he did great. He's five feet shorter of Bango. My muscles started cramping up here, Charlie horse, Charlie horse. I'm like, let it go, let it go. So I did last moment. I try to give you guys the best. Camera mom off camera is like, yeah, these three-year-olds do it all day long with a capring. First of all, I invented the capring, okay? Second of all, I got longer arms than three-year-old. I can go further, you know? Okay, now this is getting super fun, guys. It's been fun all the way through it. But the new ones, man, I just look forward to it. So, you know, you got your Ultra Glow right here, Blazagon. There you go, you got the Versus pack, and it says exclusive uh, Ultra Glow Blaze Gone versus Shadow Fang Viper. And it says he's super squishy, and there you go, crush the core, and it looks like beads come out. So he's got Orbeez, I think, and the goo glows in the dark. Now for the Shadow Fang Viper, again, it's the same thing, no core beliefs, he's evil, so you got no core. I guess you can make the excuse that Scorpius had core beliefs, but it was the wrong beliefs, you know, he's evil. <laughs> Here's the back. So there you go, you got Blaze Gone, and we know he's a good guy, he's got the paw, but when you pop it, and nine times, you got to wait four hours again. Also available is the Ultra Glow Tyro versus the Shadow Cloud Rock Jaw. And you got the skull right there, but it's below the Shadow Fang Viper, so it's to tell you he's a bad guy. All right, let's go ahead and open him up. Where's the tabby? Oh, the tabby's way over here. Now, this looks like this package has already been through the ringer, man. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, first of all, let's do our Blaze Gone. Okay, we know what he looks like, so we're pretty good with that, right, guys? And then the back, okay, great, fabulous. Okay, thanks, Blazagon. Wait, show me off more. <laughs> it's like, no, we already know what you look like here. But what we want to know is what's in his core. Oh, wow, it's so clear you can see it. And it's like yellow Orbeez. It's not white, so it's yellow. I'm not sure if it's got like some sort of power to it that when you pop it, it's gonna mix. So you'll have like a mixture instead of clear goo, you'll have yellow. It, maybe it's just the Orbeez here yellow. Oh, he's got no water in him. Oh, there we go. Ready, guys? Ready for some poppage? Oh, that is cool. Look at that. Oh, yes. That gold color, yellow. Oh, my goodness. That is so awesome. I love it. And it, it just, the concentration at first look, made it look so cool. So now we're going to have to, like, really punch it, squish it, squeeze it. Oh, yeah. Now we can take a look. That, that yellow looks, uh, oh, oh, see, look, I didn't get him out. Look, if you look at the core, pardon me. If you look at the core, there's like two beads inside, I think. Maybe if I turn the core upside down, squeeze it out. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, fine, enough is enough. Merry floaties. That's what they say in Fortnite, Sergeant Santa. Okay, cool. That's just, that's awesome, I love it. Oh man. You hear that? He's very swishy. Oh, he went the other way. That was cool. He, he just heard his foot just swishing around. I mean, you could just... That's what I was hearing during the roundabouts, this. Blaze gone. You are blazer. Ooh. Gone. Oh, <laughs> Hit the treadmill. Ow. It took him out. Um, according to the trajectory, when he would have made it to about, I think maybe 30 feet. Which one do you guys like? Your Blazagons, do you like him with the red body or the yellow? Actually, I can't see him being apart. I think you have to get both. Okay, last but not least, oh, this Shadow Fang man. What is he? They say he's super stretchy. Now, this one's gonna have corn syrup. Okay, guys, well, let me do it. This one's gonna have corn, okay. <laughs> yeah, the box is in the way. Oh, wow, he feels like creepy, man. So there's the, the evil skull, and look at his fangs and his yellow eyes. It's like putting you in a trance. Like and subscribe. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can feel the texture, guys. Look at the back. Oh, that's what I'm feeling right here, the texture. It feels so goo, so cool. God, this has gotta be one of my top favorite ones. I mean, you don't have much to play with, right? Down at the tail here, you can yank his tail. He, he won't like that, <laughs> he'll bite, <laughs> but Oh, that, I love it. It almost looks like a, you know, one of those lollies if you turn them, invert them. I don't know, I love his face, I love the color, and it's purple. Look at that. Oh, I'll try to give you guys a good, a, a goo look. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's cool. Don't you think? Mm 
Oh, I love that color. It kind of reminds me of um, Black Widow. She had some awesome color goo. It was like a deep, deep red. And this one's got like an awesome purple to it. It kind of looks like it has some sparklies in there. Maybe it's just, but for a moment, it looked like it had, my, maybe it's just little air bubbles or something. But we have to cut open, do a reveal to see if it's actually purple inside, which I believe it is, and not just the skin. And I think it's, you know, a double whammy. Purple on the outside and... Oh, <laughs> He just looks so cool. Kind of looks like a genie. You know, that little tail that comes out of smoke. What do you need? <laughs> what do you need? And then this thing, uh, you could probably take this off, but I don't know how. Because look, his ears, how they come out. I mean, you'd have to like, oh, I can't even like, oh, there's some yellow here. Somebody's leaking. <laughs> I mean, Blaze of God's got a breach. We gotta hurry, guys. <laughs> look, you can pull it off. See that? But you have to pull it straight down. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Uh, if I pull it off, I ain't getting it back on. Oh. <sighs> Oh, you see, I'm sweating, man. That's hard. I have to like squeeze them and just keep going down and down. You guys don't make me do this, right? Please don't make me do this. Can we do it in the reveal, guys? I think that's just better, right? Oh, there we go. I think he's the coolest. I don't know if he'll take a stand. Giga Tusk might be my favorite only because he's an ultra rare, but as far as color, looks, and newness, and everything, he's the coolest. All right. Finally, guys, the ultra rare are Giga Tusk. Right there, Ultra Rare Giga Tusk Hero Pack. And you can see he crushed the core and he glows in the dark and so it doesn't have any Orbeez and stuff, so whatever it is. Plus, he's got the Water Blast attack. And then it says he's super crunchy. And then on the back, what's interesting about the back about our Ultra Rare, he doesn't show all the other six characters you can collect. And you only see it on the others, the commons, you know, they show you how you can collect all the others. But this one, it doesn't show you there's any more. So you could buy this and go, hey, I got an Ultra Rare. I guess that's all he came out with. So there you got the paw. He's a good guy. He's got the water blast attack. You can see one, you dunk his head. And then two, you pinch his head and let it go to suck in the water. And then you can squeeze it. And then, you know, you pop the core and you push it and something comes out. And then it says you got six to collect with unique goofy is available across Series 8, but it doesn't show you the pictures, and I'm a very picture-oriented dude. So let's go ahead and open them up, the Ultra Rare. There's the tab. There it goes, man. He's no longer Ultra Rare. We took him off the lot. <laughs> oh man, he's meaty. Look at that mohawk. That's cool. Yeah, he's got a funk smell to him. He's got that newness, that new toxic car smell. All the plastics and going in the air, the parabeans, the carabines, whatever beans. I love his like little, you know, dog at well, it's half of it, his loincloth there where he's got the paws good guide and the orange. It looks super cool. And then there's the back. That looks awesome. Okay, and you can, let me just take this off. I really like his, uh, his like skirt there, well, his covering. It look, the orange looks cool. It just looks, it suits him well. Okay, so let's go ahead and give him a squeezy wheezy here. Okay, so there's all the beads in there, right, guys? And uh, let me find the core. You see the core right there? There's something like milky in there. I wonder if it turns it milky white. You can see that it's clear and you just got a bunch of beads right there, right? So when we crush the core, hmm, I'm gonna see if I can do it, get it in the arm, but the beads are really covering it up, so I can't really, I don't know if I can show you, but I'll try. That's what we do here at Adventure Fun. Sometimes it's more an adventure than fun. Oh, this kind of wants to backtrack. Here we go. Oh, I gotta pinch it. It's hard. Oh, I can't. My thumbs are giving way. Oh, come on, pop you. I'm gonna try to push it here. Oh, it's gotta have beads in there. That's why it's not popping or something. Why do you need beads? You already got beads on the outside. It's got paint in there. It's just not popping. Oh, wow. Oh, and I got to push that nine times. This core is really hard, guys. It is solid. It doesn't give way to any pressure. That core, I don't know if it calcified inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, now it's coming out. Or I, yeah, I think it's coming out now. That's so weird. Yeah, it's starting to turn milky. I think it popped around the other end. We're going to have, probably have to turn off the lights to see what, what we really did. Well, if part of his body glows, then we got this opened over here, then you gotta mix it up, right? Man, that core was a boo getter. So after hammering it with a hammer, actually I can pinch it now and it gives way where before I couldn't even like get it down. So it's got some opening now in here. Gosh, let's go ahead and do some roundabouts. I'm gonna hit the lights and we'll see what it's really like and see if it's just his arm that glows because nothing came out. You might have like a, a lemon. Let's see. Oh man. His arms, I don't dare. Oh, that's some good vibration there. Okay, cool. His arms are getting a little taut and I've already worked this side so I didn't want it to like reach out. I don't think he's gonna go that far. Um, just because of his tusk. 
Yeah, he went about maybe 13, 14 feet. It's all right. Okay, guys, now we're gonna do the water attack. So he squeezes his head, see it's pretty like squeezable. And then he's got a snout, you see the hole right there? That's where it's gonna come out and shoot you and get you right there. So let's go ahead and put it in here and suck up the water. Okay, how well, ooh. <laughs> he keeps going and he's shouting at the camera mom. <laughs> Sorry, hold on, guys. He's got an endless water supply. That just kept going. Look at that one. Oh, wait, I gotta do it down. Oh, I, I really, okay, you gotta wait. You gotta be patient to like suck it all up. Man, that just keep go <laughs> kept going. I just like once camera on, two camera on. I, I'm like sitting there, keep squeezing it in shock and I couldn't stop going. How many times? You just like, ah, stop, and the horror. <laughs> One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <laughs> yes. He's the champ. Man, if nothing more than the ultra rare, I've never seen a water attack that lasted that many squirts. He's awesome. <laughs> God, that's so cool. Hey guys, be sure to hang around um, for hours. <laughs> We'll do the glow in the dark and then see what the Orbeez look like. I love the colors, how they all just seem to go together, like the red, the yellow, the purple, and the green. So these are the ones that have the Orbeez. So let's go ahead and take a ugh, blaze of gun. Now it's four hours later, and let's go ahead and give it a... Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Those Orbeez look awesome. All nice and white and very satisfying. In fact, I can feel that core in there just getting in the way. <laughs> but it still feels really good, guys. Really goo, guys. I don't know, can we see the core right there? A core you can. You can see it right there. Anyways, so, uh, you know, you just have to deal with the core, but hey, you don't really see it because all the Orbeez are there. Hiding it. So there's Blazagon 1. Now I have to be careful about Blazagon 2 because he's got a leak, and so if I squeeze him too much, he's just gonna dribble all over the place, but we gotta do it. Yellow goo and the white Orbeez. So that works all right. I mean, just the coloring looks super cool. I like it. Yay. Where is he leaking anyways? Oh, wait a second. Should I be concerned? Yellow, <laughs> just leaking. I digress. Let's move on to our bangle. So they got the coloring. It's just the white Orbeez, right? With the inside coloring or the skin. Oh, God, she's got this thing that's gouging. Mullet is gouging my fingers, trying to squeeze it. Yeah, it's her piggy tail, ponytail. Oh, I can't get much. She's such a leaf little thing. And the core's at the bottom, but it's kind of cool. It actually reminds me of grape Kool-Aid. <laughs> it does kind of have that look about it. It's just... Don't mind me. Oh, look at that. Just... Woo! She sticks together, but she's coming out of her yoga stance. Oh, yeah! I'm ready for you to fight! And finally... Our tri-tops! Okay, here we go. All right, just the white Orbeez, but the different coloring of goo inside. That looks cool. I mean, I guess you could have different color Orbeez, but when you got the different color of inside goo, kind of like shadowing it a bit, green, purple, yellow, red. I think it works out. I like what I see. Now guys, we gotta go to the dark side. We now have to do the black lights, shine them up, and see who glows the best. Okay guys, we got the black light on our Blazagon in the red suit, if you couldn't tell from the black light. So the black light's gonna charge them up really fast and make it last super long. And let's go in three, two, one. Ooh, he's kind of got that soft, glowing, warm, glowing, glowing, warm look. Um, I hope the camera's picking up pretty well, but it looks cool from behind. What do you guys think? Yee! Oh, wow, that is just cool. It's right in the Orbeez. It's like the Orbeez are glowing. Give him a squeezy wheezy. Oh, wow. Please go on, you look cool, man. Charge, 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 three, two, one. Oh yeah. Now, now we got the other Blazagon who's got the Ultra Glow, which is super cool. It's supposed to be glowing a lot better than all the others. And we'll find out in three, two, one. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You know, just compare the two. Okay, we didn't charge this one up, right? But we'll charge him. Yeah, there you go. This one glows right here. The Ultra Glow glows so much better, guys. Look at that. Stretches. Oh, I love those Orbeez. You see the Orbeez in the camera, Mom? Yes. How they're stretching. Very cool. And how they just, oh yeah. Woo, it's spooky. Adventure Fun is haunted. Look at that. Oh, that looks cool. And then we'll just give him a quick uh, fire up right here in three, two, one. Oh man. 
that's cool. They glow awesome, especially the Ultra Glow. And we'll do comparison with the other Ultra Glow here. Okay, here's Tyro the T-Rex. He's not the Ultra Glow. He's just the regular Tyro. And let's go ahead and do two, one. He's got a cool soft glow about him, this blue glow, like kind of out in the ice, you know, trapped in the ice. Ooh. It's probably fading a little bit on us. We may have to supercharge him, but man, it's just so soft. Like under the water, you know, under the sea. <laughs> And he got some lights down there. Okay, there's our Tyro. He's not the Ultra Glow. And then here's the Ultra Glow Tyro. And we'll get him fired up in three, two, one. Oh yeah, look at the two. He glows so much better than green. Oh, and look how part of that glow is just settling down his hands and his feet. You see that? Mm -hmm. It's even extra glowier. Yay! Woo! -hoo. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's just cool. And play toss the pig with that thing, the pig skin, but toss the glow skin. I wasn't gonna hit you with a camera, mom, although you'll see it when it's coming. It's the only thing that's like lighting up in this entire room. Okay, there you go, guys. The spotlight on the catwalk here between the four and three, two, one. Yeah, Blazegon glows up the best. And then Tyro, the Ultra Glow, second. And then we got Tyro, the regular. And then we got Blazagon. His blaze is gone, man. He's got nothing here. Oh, just come on, Blazagon. We got to give you some more juice. Maybe the core didn't have as much in there. You guys put in the comments below, you know, if he, you find one that actually blazes up more than him. But it's still cool to look at. Yeah, he... He kind of like some diamonds or crystals or something underneath the skin with the certain parts are glowing brighter than the other. Okay, next, we got our tri tops. He don't try because he's always on tops. And here we go. Black light, three, two, one. That's not bad. He's almost like an ultra glow, I would say. Oh, man. And look at those dots down his hands. It's like little pieces of glow goose down in there. <laughs> I don't know. Gives you a blur of a pick right there. And it dies a little bit faster here, the glow. But it's cool to see that it's the Orbeez that, well, it looks like some of the Orbeez glow. And you pull it apart and the Orbeez are the only things that, actually the Orbeez absorbed the glow goo in there. And so it's the Orbeez that are like glowing. That's awesome. Next, the only gal in the bunch, it's our bang gal. And God, her Orbeez gonna look cool in that purple. We'll soon find out her face pops in the black light. Really nice. See, okay, in three, two, one. Okay, it's pretty soft, but still kind of eerily cool. <laughs> She's like, like fireflies in her, you know, all lighting up. She just swallowed a bunch of them. She's so small. I don't know if it picks up the uh, glow here as well, but look at that. Just certain parts of the Orbeez are like uh, firing up. Like I said, fireflies. Let's try it one more time in three, two, one. Ah, I like it. That's cool, man. And I guess that's why they'd actually have to have white Orbeez. <laughs> Maybe it just makes it glow better, I guess, with the glow goo on it. Next, we have our Scorpius. How do you think he's gonna glow? Yellow skin, yellow goo. What is in it for you? Ooh, look at his feetsies, all the glow stuff. Just, oh, look at his little like extensions here, his bat like, man, all, even his tail, look at everything, all the glow. So if it's in the tail, maybe you just gotta mush it up, see if it like, you know, you, maybe you gotta shake him up because all that glow stuff seems to settle, right? In the footsies, so hurry, charge up. Oh man, he's popping. He's almost like an ultra glow goo, guys. Oh yeah, yeah, he, you can really see the blur in him when you throw him around. <laughs> you got Capring fights. <laughs> it's like, I see it coming. Oh, okay, got you, man. Chill, I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> and it's bubbly on top. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, you could have Capring fights with him. He glows really good. He could be an ultra glow, guys. I think he would work perfectly. Oh, and then guys, these guys don't glow, right? But we want to see what it looks like in the black light. Oh, I gotta tell you, Shadow Viper Fang looks really awesome. I mean, look how he pops, guys. Even popcorn doesn't pop this good. <sighs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. It looks super cool with the black light on him. I'm telling you. 
It looks so cool. And what about behind? Anything cool about there? You guys ought to actually see it. I don't know if it's gonna oh, like wow. work. That's amazing. That's like a Spider-Man costume or something. Cool, does that look cool? I gotta see it. Yee! <laughs> that looks awesome. The black light has so much functionality with these goos, man. Wow, and you know, then you got uh, Shadow, Jaw, Rock, Jaw. It's just the shorts, you know, you can see him coming. The shorts, it's the hunting shorts. Okay, last but not least uh, is our ultra rare Giga Tusk. Now that core was a uh, booger to pop, man. That was so hard. So let's see what he looks like in three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> look at his feet. <laughs> <laughs> All the glowy stuff is kind of settling down there. It's kind of cool because it looks like an ice sculpture and looks like the light's hitting up from below. Um, I got to charge him up more. Maybe we need to shake that glowy stuff around. Come on, mix, mix, mix. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one. Yeah, it helps. Now it's not at the bottom of the feet where it looks like it's lighting up from below. Although if you want that effect, that's super cool, guys. And then let's just see. Gosh, it, it's, it's a soft glow. It's not as good as the two Ultra Glows. And then I'd also add Scorpius. He looks like he's got an Ultra Glow, but this one is still cool. You know, in a dark room, if that was the only thing that's glowing, it's very subtle, <laughs> you would see it, okay? So I don't know if you can see it when I'm stretching because it's so soft. Ooh, he's got a good spin. Okay guys, which one is your favorite? My favorite is Shadow Fang Viper. He just looks the coolest. Down the dark, you know, you can't see him really. Unless you have black light, then it's super cool. He's my numero uno. Which one's your favorite, guys? Put in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Down to the Fortnite challenge where I gotta win in Dark Tricera Op Skin. She's not a glow shifter, but she is a dinosaur, so Tricera Tops, that comes in. She's got that dark glowy skin, so kind of like a glow shifter. And plus it's the color purple like Shadow Fang Viper. That works, doesn't it? Of course it does. <laughs> Let's go. And if you guys want to support me before you purchase anything in the item shop, in the bottom right hand corner, you can go ahead and click on support a creator and then type in adventure fun, all one word. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out. Thanks guys. I'm back. Jump. Oh, oh man. I was like, I got to start recording this. Oh man, I've been such a slacker. I'm going to go to Breakwater Bay. Hopefully break some water here, man. Actually some slurp barrels. Who knows what's in those things, man? Just one shy close of a slurp pee. You get a 7-Eleven? I know, pretty cool. That sounds good right now. Um, God, nobody's landing here unless I got a way, way early drop, which I just barely came in the game here. I think there's somebody's landing there. Fireflies. What the deal? We, oh, <laughs> slurp a bird. Do I get a chest down here? Oh, I do. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> cool. Let's splash it and splash it. And oh man, there's a ton of fireflies buzzing in. Man, I got the early drop on these dudes. I probably neophytes. Well, we'll soon find out. Maybe I'm the neophyte. Yeah, they got a late drop, man. Oh, those doors. Oh, here we go. Oh, one, two. Get them before they hurry and shield up and load up. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Ah, there we go. Once. Ooh. Okay. Fine. I'm not gonna stay in the doorway and get hammered by you. I'll wait for you to come out. There you is. Oh. And. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Guys, calm down. Take some breaths. Oh. Somebody's back. Dark Vader. Oh, you guys fight it out. Okay, not on my A game here. Uh, I can chill here. Their sweats, they'd be running over here saying, he's getting the flag, he's getting the flag. But I don't think they're sweats. Oh, Firefly. Give him something to tink about. Where are you guys? Firefly it and Firefly it. Right, keep you guys busy. There we go. Okay, let's see the shroom. Oh, three of them over there. Alrighty, let me grab what I can. Ooh, splash it out. I want this. Well, those guys are just... What happened to the third dude? Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's switch over. There we go. Oh, motorcycle. He's riding in that hot. I don't wanna hang around. 
There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I can't. The roof's in the way. Oh, wait a, wait a second. Shoot. Ouch. Oh. Oh, one HP. Oh man, pumpkin head almost had me for squash. He almost squashed me, the big squash. I bet he's like, what the deal, man? With one hit point away, every splash counts. <laughs> but we're still in uh, more parkour. Yeah. Okay, oh god, another one, a uh, rifle recycle. Absolutely, let's do that one. Man, that was quite the battle there. I was knocking my noodle on the simply trying to get a, a better advantage, but okay, looks like we cleared the area here. Uh, four limbs, let's see if we can make it five. Bounty, the quicker eliminator. Ew, okay, he looks pretty creepy with his mask. Okay, I definitely want the pistol. I hear somebody. I wonder if he's the bounty. Mm -hmm. Take the high ground. I'm not good at shooting straight down, but we'll give it a try. And, oh, oh there. Okay, an angle. Oh, <laughs> no scope. <laughs> That's what my red eye. Oh man, I gave him red eye. What's up here? Ooh, a gold sump. Uh, you know, that the pistol is just, god. I like the way it rolls and the way it shoots out a lot in the magazine and auto. I don't know, it just seems cleaner to me. Oh, that's right. Chest up here. Um, what's this? Red eye, purple? Yes. Upgrade. Oh, good a key. Okay, we'll bush it for a minute and then we'll check out our AUG. Uh, bush Warrior. <laughs> no brainer. God, I'm really liking this. Uh, these augments. They, they're really helpful. The Bush Warriors helped out a lot. And I also like where I can, you know, run and jump really high. That's a cool augment. Love that. Um, I'm going to see if I can eat one of these, get some speed. Now, give me my gun. No, I don't want to gather. Give me my... Ow. Give me the... I don't want to gather. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, give me my nug. I want my shot. Shotty. I call him Shotty. It's this thing we have, me and Mr. Shotgun Head. See how our horns glow? I picked the perfect skin for this one, these Glow Shifter Challenge. The only problem with her skin is when you're in the dark and you're trying to focus on the, like, the dark door there, you know? It had enough light. Oh, slap it juice. Go ahead and give it a slurp, get some speed. It's just hard to see in the dark when you're making corners and turns where the corner at with such a dark skin. Oh, somebody's coming. Um. Oh, you're fighting a whoopee. Oh, what, oh, I, oh, somebody on the whoopee. Okay. I guess you took care of business. Oh, he softened him up for you. Oh, man, that pistol. That's so cool. Here we go. Boosh. 23 skidoosh. <laughs> and now Mr. Wurtz is free. Oh, soaring sprints. That's the one I want. That's a cool augment. Hello, Mr. Wurtz. Don't mind me. You're free, Mr. Wurtz. Pick that up and get some money. Okay, cool. And let's slap it. There we go. Nice. And let's go. Oh, uh, see that? You run and jump. Hey, mini music, maybe run and jump. Hey, tag, don't hey, mini music, maybe run and jump. Oh, okay. Somebody's got a hammer. I'm going crazy. Oh, here we go. I got unlimited runs, so I got great jumps. Yeah! Can't get me, I hope. Ouch. All right, all right, all right. Uh, somebody else is on your tail, so... Worry about the other person, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, okay. Wow, it's hot hopping over here Oops. man this jump thing and this long running with that slap juice oh, hold on has been oh, so helpful man they should be hopping around here 14 players left and it seems like they're all that castle broke a lot <laughs> somebody smashed it pretty good oh hammer 
Oh, good thing I uh, turned backwards here. That's going to be helpful. And there you is. I'm just worried somebody's going to try to hit me up here. Ooh. Ooh. And I almost feel bad. Uh, I was going to say, I almost feel bad by taking these guys out because they're just... I think they're just new to the game. And I don't want to be caught in the open water here, so let's go hammer. Uh, maybe one more time at the edge here. And a sweet. Okay, this has been well decorated. I oh, love it. It's fabulous, darling. Please come back and do more. <laughs> Ooh, more hickle. Yeah, we're out of here. Yep. I just want to make sure I keep away from the, the motorcycle dude's chasing me. He's got something on me, man. Ah, can't climb up that hill, can you? All right. Gotta make it to the bush, make it to the bush, 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 bush. And then turn around. Then he won't. Oh, okay, somebody's coming. Okay, pretty freaky. Oh, there, there. The balloon dude. I don't like balloons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those balloons, man. I've had problems when those guys get some height and they start beaning me. Do not like balloons, man. Maybe for clowns and parties, but not for Fortnite. Ooh. Legendary, yeah. Man, I'm not in a favorable position here. I don't have the high ground. I don't know where these dudes are at. I wish I had that uh, recon scanner thingy augment. Oh, okay, crown. Crown's up there. Let's go see what the minimum is to get to circle. Uh-huh. Ooh, somebody's got the jump uh, augment. And somebody's hammer happy. If I just keep inchworming my way in. Maybe oh, the bridge is where it's going to be ending up at. If, I bet they're in the castle. Can't be down the bridge. If they were under the bridge, I want to be high ground. That wouldn't be good. Okay, he's above me. Somebody's above me. Okay, very carefully, very cautiously. Okay, slow. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's pretty serious. Let's go. Oh, crown, crown down, crown down. Crown, pick up the crown. Okay, turn around. He's right there. Oh, shotgun. No. Oh, I did it. Yes, guys. Go, shifters. You go and shift. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.